Okay, so good evening, everyone. Uh, and welcome once again to this very interesting session about uh, how to fill the college supplement, supplement on Common App. Today with us, we have Mithul, Mr. Mithul Seth from Juniata College. Hi, Mithul. Good to see you. Hi, Devesh. Good to see you too. Okay, so uh, in today's uh, webinar, we are going to talk about three things. The first is how to search college on Common App. The second is about uh, how to, what is the information, what all information is present on a college specific page on Common App. Uh, and finally, Mithul will talk to us about how to fill the college specific supplement. So uh, for the first two parts, uh, I have a couple of rep recordings from Ms. Uh, Teresa Joson from Juniata College. Unfortunately, she could not uh, attend this webinar with us today, but she has very kindly accepted uh, our invitation and has uh, shared the recordings with us. So without any further ado, uh, I would pres uh, present to you this video on how to search a college on Common App. Um, and I'm the international student recruiter at G Hello, everyone. I'm Teresa Josen, um, and I'm the international student recruiter at Juniata College. I'm so glad you guys are here today. I'm so glad you guys are jump-starting on your college search um, by participating in this uh, web series, uh, How to Fill Your Common App. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how exactly you perform a college search on the Common App. So I'm going to share my screen here uh, real quick. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you guys some slides. Slides um, on how exactly the college search works on the Common App. Um, and then after showing you guys the slides, I'm going to go ahead into the Common App and show you um, step by step on how exactly to do it. Um, so how does the college search work on the Common App? Um, so once you're all logged in and ready to go, uh, you're going to arrive at your dashboard. Um, typically on the dashboard, uh, you know, if you have colleges already added to your My Colleges list, uh, you'll see that list on the dashboard right here instead of a welcome. Um, but so you're at your dashboard. Um, you have five different tabs you can choose from, um, which are your dashboard, My Colleges, Common App, College Search, and Financial Aid Resources. Um, so in order to start on your college search, you're going to click on College Search. Um, and once you click on that, you're going to arrive to another page, um, but this time with a search bar. Um, so whatever college you're interested in or whatever college you wanna apply for, you can type that college um, into this search bar uh, right, right here. Um, but be mindful um, of the college that you are applying for. Some colleges do not use the Common App. Some colleges use a different app software. Um, and then some colleges have actually their own application um, software that they want you to use. Um, so just kind of be sure that the college that you're looking for is on the Common App. Um, but in this case, Juniata College is affiliated with the Common App. So um, I decided to uh, search Juniata. And once you start typing in a college name, um, it'll start filtering your results. So Juniata College came up. Um, you see a plus sign. You see the name Huntington, Pennsylvania, where it's located. Um, and then you also see three dots in a row um, on the right hand side. Um, so if you actually focus on the three dots right here and you click on the dots, um, it, you'll have three different options to choose from. Um, so you have a college information link. Um, it'll take you to the admission logistics page for that college on the actual Common App. Um, you also have the college website, uh, which will take you to the college's main web page. Um, and you also have admissions office, which will take you to the college's admissions web page. Um, so kind of going back to um, the main page of the college search, um, we're going to go back here to the name um, and the plus sign. So if you know right away that you want to add this college to your My Colleges list, you can go ahead and click on that plus sign. Otherwise, we are going to click on the actual college name, which will take you to the college information page, um, the admission logistics page um, on the Common App. 
So you see here, there's contact information. You'll see at the bottom here, once this goes away, um, that there are links um, to go to the college website, to go to the virtual tour um, link, to register for a virtual tour, um, and then a college navigator link. Um, and then at the bottom, there are more admission logistics stuff. Um, for now, we're going to focus on adding colleges to my college list. Um, so go ahead and click on Add to My Colleges. And once you do that, you're going to see a message at the bottom that says Juniata College has been added to your My Colleges list. Um, so once that message comes up, you can go back to the dashboard and see that Juniata College is now on your dashboard. And once you have more colleges in your My Colleges list, um, you'll be able to see that list on the dashboard. Um, but you see here, Juniata College is right here. Um, this purple pencil means that my application is still in progress. Um, and what's great about the dashboard is that it'll also tell you if the application is complete. Um, and then you can click here to show more. Obviously, I can't click there because this is a slide. Um, but if you want more details on what else you need to complete, you can certainly click on that. And then a list will show um, and tell you what exactly else you need to um, fill that common app for that college um, or you know after adding a college um, and getting that green message you can kind of instead of clicking the dashboard tab you can click on the my colleges tab um, and that will take you similarly to the dashboard um, it'll take you to a page that'll list all the colleges you plan to apply to um, and kind of like if you were to click on the um, college name right here, um, the list of um, application requirements that you still need to turn in will come up. And then also the contact information and all the admission logistics will come up on this side. Um, so it's really plain and simple. Um, I'm going to show you guys right now on how to um, exactly do this. It's super quick, super easy, just as long as you know which colleges you would like to um, apply to so let me just log in real quick All right, so I'm at my dashboard. Um, I haven't added any colleges to my college list yet um, So I'm going to click on the college search tab I'm going to type in Juniata and Juniata comes up right away. Um, you'll see the plus sign, you'll see the name and where it's located, and then you'll see the three dots right here with the college information page. Click on the college website, um, or you can click on the admissions office link, which will take you to the same web page. Um, but you can click on visit to kind of view all the um, to view the admissions page on Juniata website. All right, so going back, uh, we're going to click on the actual college name. So in this case, Juniata College. Um, like I said before, you're going to see contact information uh, and then admission logistics stuff like application deadlines, um, application fees, test policies, and then uh, a list of required documents you need to submit in order for your application to be complete. Um, but we're going to add Juniata College to my colleges list. Got that green message. So I'm going to go to my dashboard um, and you're going to see or I'm going to see that Juniata College is on my college list um, and that my application is still in progress. So what exactly does that mean? I can click on show more details and it'll tell me that I still need some to answer some um, questions on the actual comment app. Um, I need to answer some questions for the college um, and that I still need to write my common app essay. Um, and so, like I said before, you can click on my dashboard or my colleges. I'm going to click on my colleges and similarly to the dashboard, um, Juniata College is listed. If I click on the college, um, it'll tell me all aspects about my application. So green check mark means that it's completed. If there's not a green check mark, that means you still need to fill some stuff out. Um, and then contact information is here and application logistics stuff is right here. Um, like I said, it's pretty plain and simple. Um, so if you have any questions at all, I'd be happy to um, set up a Zoom call with you and kind of navigate you through on how the college search actually works. Um, but otherwise, thank you for joining me on this information session. Um, and hopefully as you continue on to your college search, hopefully I get to work with you guys soon. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye. So that was the first part of uh, how to search a college on Common App. The second part, we'll talk about um, the college information page. So what all information is present on a college information page and what does that mean? So I'm just going to start that.
uh, recording in a second. Hey guys, Teresa here. Um, I'm in this information session. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to apply to different colleges on the Common App and also kind of elaborate more on what is required of you to complete your applications on the Common App. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Um, and go to the dashboard. So once you are in the um, once you log into the Common App, you'll see the dashboard, and this is pretty much giving you an overview of the colleges that you are applying to and that you will apply to, um, or that you will that you have already applied to. Um, so here I have Juniata College, and it's telling me that my application is still in progress, um, and that is indicated by this purple pencil, and it says here in progress. So what exactly do I need to complete that application? All I have to do is click on Show More Details, and it'll tell me exactly what I need to complete my application. Um, so, you know, the status will be here. Um, if something is complete, it'll be shown with a green check mark. Um, and that's pretty much that's pretty much um, all the main details on this page. Um, it'll also tell you if you need a writing supplement um, or if you need to write an additional essay. Juniata does not require one, so you don't need to write an additional essay. Um, but all colleges are different, so uh, different colleges might require you to write an additional essay. So I'm going to go ahead and dive deep into the information page for each college. Um, well, not for each college, but uh, for an example, I'm using Juniata College, but each college does have an information page for you um, that is super helpful and that you should refer to if you have any questions about admission logistics. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my colleges and click on Juniata College. Um, here on the left hand side, similar to the dashboard, uh, you have you can see what is completed and what is not. If something is completed, like the dashboard, there will be a green check mark. Otherwise, there will be no check mark. Okay, so on this side, we have all the good, sweet information. Uh, so to start things off, we have contact info, and that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a phone number, an email, a physical mailing address, uh, links to college website or a virtual tour, um, and then also links to our social media pages. Um, and so one thing I do want to point out is this email listed here. So if you have any documents aside from the Common App that you need to submit, like a final high school transcript um, or even a school report, uh, you will send those documents to this email listed here. Um, for Juniata, it's applications at juniata.edu, uh, but for other colleges and universities, it's definitely going to be different. So I would keep that in mind to kind of check which email you should send your documents to. After contact info, you have your different application deadlines. Um, for the most part, they're the application deadlines are pretty similar, but also, again, be mindful of the different deadlines um, because it could be different depending on the college that you're applying to. Um, so first, we have early decision, which is a binding contract. If you apply early decision, then that means you, um, once you are admitted, if you are admitted, then you are committing to that school and dropping all other applications that you have out there to other colleges and universities. Um, it's a lot of pressure for sure, uh, so you have to be 100% sure that you want to apply early decision or you have to be 100% sure that this is the college you want to go to. Um, so just as long as the financials are in place, your contract will continue on and you will commit to that school if you apply early decision. And that deadline is November 15th. Um, but say you do not want that commitment, you don't want that pressure quite yet, uh, you can definitely apply early action or early action to. It's pretty similar to the early decision deadline, but the only difference is that it's not a binding contract. Uh, the benefit to early action and early action to is that you know sooner rather than later. Um, and it kind of gets some weight off your shoulders much, much sooner. Um, and so early action one is uh, just December 1st, and then early action two is January 15th. Um, and then say a college is still in the back of your head, but you're not quite interested, but you want to apply, you always have the option to apply regular decision, which is March 15th. Um, so those are all for fall 2021. Um, if you wish to start spring 2021, you definitely can, and you can still apply. Um, 
application just opened the other day, and I'm assuming that it's the same for other schools. Um, but yeah, regular decision for spring 2021 is due on December 1st. Um, after these deadlines, you have other deadline information. Um, this is for your free application for federal student aid or FAFSA. This is typically for domestic students, so you, you probably won't have to worry about this, but if you do need to fill out the FAFSA, uh, keep in mind that that application opens on October 1st, um, and you, if you need to um, find the code, the code is usually listed in other deadline information. All right, so after that, we have application information. Um, and so first things first, we have application fees. Uh, application fee is different for every college. Uh, for Juniata, the application is completely free. So you do not have to pay anything to apply to Juniata. For other schools, it is different. Um, so kind of keep that in mind as you are looking at schools. Um, keep in mind of the application fee because some schools have applications application fees of $45, $50, $75, or even $100. So um, definitely look out for that application fee. Um, and then next we have standardized test policies. Um, so Juniata College is a test optional school. So uh, when you take the SATs or ACTs, if you don't think that your test scores resonate with your academic profile well, you do not have to submit them at all. Um, and that still counts you for a merit scholarship. Um, but like I said, each school is different. So um, each uh, other schools might require SAT or ACT scores, um, and some schools might require them to kind of determine your merit scholarship. Um, so like I said, uh, kind of similar to application fees and other stuff, um, be mindful of the test policies. Um, and you can definitely find this information on each college's website. And if not, definitely reach out to your admissions counselor to kind of find out what else or what is required or what are the policies um, to send in an application. After that, you have recommendations. Um, again, each school is different, but for Juniata, we require a school report, which is basically an overview of your uh, behavior in school. Uh, we have, we require a counselor recommendation, um, and then we also require a final report uh, and one teacher evaluation. Um, so that's, so once you have all those materials, um, you can send them in one by one, or you can send them in all together to this email right listed right here um, like I said each school is different so definitely um, kind of search on the application or on the college's website to see what exactly you need um, in order to kind of complete these requirements um, and so save school forms after matriculation that basically means that uh, your school forms everything that you submit to complete your application they will be saved once you enroll into the school um, and it'll stay under your file um, until you graduate Juniata or until you graduate a whatever college or university you decide to go to. Um, and then, of course, you have additional information to uh, schedule campus visits, schedule a virtual visit, learn more about Juniata by going to the website um, and checking out social media pages. Um, and then at the bottom here, it'll tell you what else you need to do um, in terms of writing requirements. So like I said, Juniata only requires the Common App personal essay um, and um, related college questions. We do not require an additional essay essay. Um, but like I keep saying, all colleges are different, so you might need to uh, check this out to see if you are required to write an additional essay. Um, so that's pretty much uh, all the information you need uh, to kind of apply to colleges. That's what all the information um, kind of means. Um, so if you have any questions at all, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be happy to schedule a Zoom call with you. Um, just send me an email at jct at juniata.edu um, and I can kind of go go through step by step with you uh, exactly what you need um, and exactly what um, each uh, item means um, in order to complete your application. Um, so thank you guys for joining me today. Um, kind of like I said, what I said um, in the other information session, um, as you continue on to your college search journey, um, I hope that I can work with you um, step by step uh, through and through. Um, so thank you for joining me. Have a good one. Bye. Oh. Thank you so much, Teresa, for sharing all that information with us. And with that, I now invite uh, Mr. Mithul Seth from Juniata to present his uh, 
uh, presentation on how to fill the college supplement. Sure, and sure. Thank you, thank you, Devesh. Um, so I'll start with um, uh, you know sharing my uh, piece of information with where the where Theresa has left. Devish, if you can give me a thumbs up, whether you can see my screen. Yes, yes, I can see your screen. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, so uh, once you have the college that you want to apply to on your My College section, which is this, as you can see that Theresa had added Juniara College and she, you know, briefed about you know the various information that is there popping up or you know on your screen right now. There is this one particular section which is known as question. Now, um, as you are aware that common application asks you to fill two types of information. One is the information which is, um, you know, going to be common for the common application as such, and that is going to be sent across all the colleges that you're going to apply to. And the second type of information is something which is asked by the college specific that you are going to apply to. So in this case, uh, because I want to apply to Juniata College, Juniata College requires certain specific information from you that you are going to uh, share to the common app. So the first set of questions, so there are total five categories of questions that is listed in the quest, uh, questions category. So the first one is general. The second section is the academics. The third section is the activities. The fourth section is the contacts. And the fifth section is the family. So we're gonna uh, briefly discuss about each section and what you need to fill in these kind of sections. So the first section is the general section. So in this, uh, Juniata wants some general information from you, like what start term, what uh, term you want to start you know, at Juniata. So typically uh, US colleges offer two kinds of terms. One is fall and the second is sprints. So the fall uh, semester starts typically by around August, September and the spring starts by around February, March. So in this case, I'm gonna select fall 21. Uh, the second section, so second question in uh, the first section is admission plan. So under what kind of category do I want to apply to? So as Theresa mentioned that early decision is a binding decision, early action is a non-binding uh, you know, decision, uh, early action do and a regular decision. So you can select your kind of uh, choice in this particular question. So I'm going to select regular decision. The next question is preferred residence during your first year. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of, um, you know, students who have certain rel relatives in near nearby the vicinity of the college campus, or, you know, there are certain students who, you know, do not have any relatives or anybody living nearby the college. So they would wish to stay on the campus. So in this, you can select on campus or off campus. But by large, US universities and colleges requires the freshmen or the first year students to um, mandatorily stay on campus. And also it makes sense because you're gonna save a lot of time you know, commuting to the college you know, in that sense. So I'm gonna select campus, on campus. Uh, the next question is preferred testing plan. So uh, this, as um, you know, uh, Theresa mentioned that we are, uh, test optional college or any college which is a test optional college, you've got two options, whether you want to submit your SAT score or not, SAT or ACT scores. So in either case, uh, you know, whatever you want to select, you can select it here. So I'm going to select, I am, I will not submit my SAT or ACT score. Uh, also to mention that all the questions which have a strict red, red a strict marks are mandatory questions, which you have to you know, opt, which you have to select. Uh, the next question is, do you intend to pursue need-based financial aid? Now, this is something that is you know, very crucial and very important to many of the applicants. So uh, if you want Juniata to consider you for a need-based or a financial-based, um, uh, you know, need-based financial aid, then you can type yes or you can type no. Uh, are you interested in study abroad opportunity? Now, this question is not uh, an asterisk my uh, asterisk question so you can um, leave the question that's absolutely okay um, the common application is not going to prompt you later that this question is not answered um, but i would advise that you know you can you should really fill this question 
so study abroad opportunity is basically uh, an opportunity where you enroll to a college and from that college um, you you enroll for a semester or a couple of semesters to another partner college in another country college or a university it's absolutely okay if you type a yes and later if you decide not to you know opt for a study abroad opportunity that's absolutely fine so this is basically to uh, make the college understand that you are interested and so that they will keep you posted about this kind of an information to you uh, next i click a continue to go to the next section of the questions asked which will take me to the academic section so what is your intended area of study at juniata list in the order of preferences now um, i i understand that there are a lot of students who um you know who just want to explore the academic area who wants to explore the domains which are offered by the colleges so juniata typically wants to list down your preferences of the interest that you would want to explore at juniata so they would want to know your first preference so i have um so this these are the kind of courses which i get which are offered by juniata and uh, i can select my first option so say for example if i want to select business so i want to study business but i also want to explore another area right so which is like uh, i want to explore economics along with business right so i can select economics as my second preference uh then what additional area of study you are interested in juniata college so apart from um business and economics if i want to study um uh, english you know so i can type in english uh juniata offers fifth year master program opportunities would you be interested in pursuing any of these opportunities so there are you know lot of courses which are integrated along with undergraduate and masters so a lot of colleges will offer you this kind of an option and you can select that option um you know right right at the time of your applications for your undergraduate level so in this particular case juniata offers an integrated course and if you want to select a yes you can select a yes so please select the fifth year masters program opportunity that interests you so again this is just a, a question which is asked basis on your interest now you selecting any kind of a course here does not bind you to opt in for that particular course for your masters you can um, you know change your masters or you can alter your majors at your master level that's completely okay so with this my second section is done and i click continue and uh, that takes me to the activity section of juniata now apart from the activities that it mentioned on the common application juniata also wants to know a bit more about that activity or any activity that you want to um that you want to share or you want to communicate to juniata specific um, you know application officers so please briefly elaborate on one of your extracurricular activities or your work experience so this question means that um, the college wants to know what kind of an experience did you had um you know while doing or while pursuing that particular activity uh so you can mention the kind of uh you know experiences that you had or or the kind of information that you would want juniata to understand a bit in more detail in this particular section so yeah uh the detail that you would mention in here is basically should basically correspond to the activity that you would be mentioning out here so juniata uh basically what activities at juniata college interest you list in the order of preferences so yeah so this is the activity which uh, juniata would you know offer you when you would uh, be admitted in the juniata college so juniata has around 100 plus you know organi uh, organizations and clubs which you can choose from so you can choose any kind of a club um, you know which kind of interest you right now again this is non binding so say for example if uh, i am interested in uh, dance ensemble i can select that and i can select five more activities you know alongside this so this will help juniata to keep you informed related to these kind of an activities so some applicants uh, maintain an online presence that showcase their background talents or creativity if you maintain such site please feel free to enter the url here 
So this is a very important section. Again, it's not uh, an asterisk mark section, but um, I would highly encourage students to mention any of your digital presence, which you think can add value to your application. So say, for example, if I'm a blogger or if I have a YouTube channel that I regularly post videos on, I can mention that URL address here, or I can mention the URL address of my blog out here. So this will help the Juniata, um, you know, admissions officers to understand what kind of, um, you know, talent you, uh, you know, you display or what kind of interest you are inclined towards. Yeah, so all of these information you can put in your activities section. If I click continue, this is going to take me to another section, which is known as the contact section. Now, have you previously applied to Juniata College. So Juniata College would want to know that, um, are you uh, a previous applicant or not? Or is this a fresh application for you? So I believe that for most of y'all guys, it will be a fresh application. And so the answer would be no, I have not applied previously to Juniata College. Have you learned, uh, how have you learned about Juniata College list in the order of in, uh, influence? So this is a, a, a way which Juniata want to understand that who made or how did you come across uh, Juniata College as your selection? And again, it is a very important information for um, you know the team at Juniata because um, that is how they are going to understand that um, your area of influence. So you know how or who did influence you for this particular kind of a decision? So whether you know a career. A, you know, career counselor did guide you to apply to Juniata College or you have Juniata alumni who, you know, kind of uh, referred you for the college or, um, you know, friends talking about Juniata. So you can select either of it. Juniata also offers 10 different uh, available options for, you know, the kind of influence that you had for selecting Juniata College. So would you like to opt in for text messaging? Uh, Text messaging, so Juniata would want to understand that, um, you know, whether would you be comfortable receiving some kind of a textual information on your mobile phones or, um, you know, uh, other platforms. So it's an asterisk mark, so either you can select yes or a no. So if you select yes, uh, Juniata will extract the information which is mentioned on your common application. I select continue and uh, it takes me to the last section of this particular question section out here. So this is the family section. So Juniata want to you know, get some information about your family. So have any of your relatives ever attended Juniata College? Uh, you know, because uh, it will be important for Juniata to understand that um, whether you know, did anybody in your family have ever you know, graduated from Juniata or not? So uh, typically the answer would be no, most of the times. Uh, do you have acquaintances like a coach, friend, or friend of a family, uh, you know, school counselor, teacher that attended Juniata College? So if not your family members, then anybody whom you know have attended Juniata College. If your answer is yes, uh, you know, you can have, you will have to select who has select, who have attended that college. So the answer is none typically, and I continue. Right. So in a, in a typical case scenario, if all the answers were uh, filled in and it were filled in correct, you would have received a green check mark here. But because there are certain questions which I haven't answered in that particular section, this does not, this section, question section does not have a green check mark. Then uh, the next section is the recommenders or the FERPA section. So again, this particular information is something that you would fill in your common application uh, section, common app section. So it is, so once that is, once this information is filled in the common application, it will be automatically reflected in this particular section. After I have answered all the questions, all the answers, you know, in this question section, I will review my, uh, application pertaining to only Juniata College in this particular section. So uh, I can review the entire application. And here I have Juniata College questions, which I can review. So out of the five sections, 
four sections have been completed so it has a green check mark only the activity section is incomplete and that is why it does not have a green check mark so i know that if any information that i have missed yeah so this uh, basically sums up uh, you know the college supplement section um, which is basically to add a college you know to your application and uh, give the college specific information in that particular section um, please um, yeah. please share or you know ask any questions if you have uh, i'll be happy to answer you that so great thank you so much mithul for sharing this presentation and for taking us through the uh, process of how to fill the college supplement section uh, i have one question uh, which asks about is it okay to choose uh, areas of study which are completely different from each other Uh, absolutely absolutely so we have had uh, cases at juniata where uh, students have selected data science and psychology so it's absolutely okay um, you know to select two different or two completely contradicting uh, majors or areas of interest for your application great uh, there is one question which asks about need based and need blind scholarship so that is something which maybe i i'll also uh, help you answer so uh, a, a need based scholarship is something where uh, the scholar the the need of the student the financial need of the student is taken in, into consideration while uh, taking the uh, acceptance decision whereas a need blind policy does not consider a student's financial a uh, need or their financial uh, standing while the admission decision is taken yes uh mithul what are uh, uh, the pros and cons of uh, choosing a fall or spring start <laughs> okay uh so there is nothing like a pros and a cons for selecting any kind of a semester it's absolutely um you know okay for universities um you know to uh, deliver the similar or the exact kind of um you know the academic quality that is there for either of the sections um but yeah uh, majorly uh, you know the kind of fall semesters that has which is major you know in in terms of uh, us applications one of the pros is that most of the campus recruitments or the most of the companies visiting the campus are uh, you know by large in in the fall semester because um, you know the application the quantity of the applications the quantity of the enrollments are more in numbers for fall semesters so obviously um, you know most company would prefer to visit that particular campus in the fall area where they have large number of pools of the candidates which they can pick from but having said that uh, you know if if the network of any college is very strong enough so even spring semester uh, you know enrolls will have an equal kind of an opportunity for an internship or for a campus placement so yeah great uh, this is a very interesting question uh, let's say a, a student uh, they got to know about juniata through this presentation so what should they mark in that uh, particular how did they get, you get to know about juniata so okay now that's a uh, that's an interesting um, uh, question so yeah you can uh, you can select um, you know webinar or you can select a guidance counselor because um, the first point of contact is definitely next genius um, uh, you know next yeah. genius scholarship program so yeah great perfect um uh, is this one is for next genius can next genius applicants apply early action so yes uh, you can apply early action but most next genius applicants apply a uh, regular decision when they apply to college uh mithul we are almost towards the end of the presentation uh, would you like to share a little more with us about juniata college absolutely absolutely so um so as of now i am going to share another screen um just give me a sec yeah uh can you see a screen on uh, on your can you see the slide on your screen no 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 it's not shared right now okay just this okay can you now see 
yes perfect okay okay uh so first of all thank you devesh again uh, for giving me this opportunity to talk about juniata college to you know this wonderful audience um, you know and uh, the set of students so uh, juniata has a history of around 144 years and um, so it was incepted in 1876 um, you know in in the pennsylvania state in huntington town so beautiful town and um, it's a private liberal arts college uh, and um, which is formed by brethren brothers you know back in 1876 so it's it's a very um, uh, it's a typically close knit college which has around 1500 students on campus uh, so out of this 1500 students uh, 10% of the students comprise of uh, international community with you know representing around 39 different countries so uh, the college has a campus area of around 110 acres uh, beautiful campus which um you know is is very close to nature because huntingdon is a very um, you know small um, you know district in in that sense so it has a you know population of around 25000 um, you know or people now because of this uh, small college setup it has its own advantage so juniata typically encourages or kind of challenges the student to explore what is uh, you know what is hidden or what is something at times challenged by the students so we have um uh, you know strongly stood up with the kind of fundamentals on which the juniata college was formed so juniata college is very much committed in giving the experiential learning experience to the students so we just do not want students to you know be academically uh, you know genius but otherwise uh, struggling so juliata kind of gives or focuses on having or giving a holistic development to any student so 10 is to 1 is the kind of faculty ratio that juniata has always kind of maintained so this kind of this faculty ratio gives an opportunity for the student to uh, be more interactive with students uh, you know for the with the professors um, and also the student feels uh, you know very uh, up and close with the professors all the time because the class size is relatively very small and also it gives an opportunity for the student to be very much um you know communicative across the classroom so average class size is around um you know 19 to uh, you know around 12 to around 20 so it it varies depending upon the kind of course that you know you select so i have tons of information but i am going to you know uh, you know hit on some basic informations uh, which are you know key for juniata so juniata offers around 100 plus courses um you know in in different areas not just uh, in liberal arts but we also offer courses in stem co or, you know stem areas uh, uh stem areas medicine areas in fact uh, pre med and psychology is one of our popular courses you know for juniata college so having said that what makes uh, juniata distinct from other liberal arts college is something that we call as poe um poe is the kind of program of emphasis so this particular program of emphasis gives opportunity to the students to design their own curriculum so as um, you know devesh or as somebody asked earlier that what if uh, the interest lies in two contradicting or two different extremes so this is where juniata you know kind of gives an opportunity or a platform to the student to explore these two different uh, you know extremes and not just two different extremes in a different way but to club these two extremes and make their own curriculum so juniata gives a platform to every student to design their own curriculum and as it is mentioned on this particular slide um, 21% of the students choose to design their own curriculum so this is something which you know every student can take advantage of to explore which areas that they are good at uh uh typically any college or any university would provide you know an academic advisor which will help the student to you know sail through the academics but we want to add more value to the you know learning experience of the student so juniata offers not just one but two academic advisors throughout so one advisor is going to be academic advisor which is going to hand hold you or which is going to you know direct you in the area of academics which poe you know what curriculum what kind of class schedules you should have p 
the second advisor on the other hand is going to be a non academic advisor which is going to hand hold you which is going to mentor you in the other areas of your you know student life like say for example soft skill training say for example if somebody is very shy or your reserve or is very you know kind of limited to you know certain limited uh, number of people you know this mentor is going to help you know uh, overcome this kind of a challenge so overall the student feels not just academically empowered but also you know empowered in the other areas which are equally important in the global scenario right now so this is something which you know juniata adds great value and um, trust me i have had student i have interacted with alums of juniata which says that you know because of this particular uh, feature uh, the entire life or the entire experience have turned around uh having said that um uh, juniata you know offers 100% first year student uh, you know in financial need so um juniata strongly believes that uh you know the value of education should not be compromised because of the affordability of you know of it so any student who cannot afford um you know uh, a value education or a good education juniata comes ahead and you know would extend any possible help to you know those students to receive that kind of an education so 100% so juniata has a record of offering you know some kind of a financial assistance to every student who is applied to juniata college uh apart from you know financial assistance juniata also guarantees all the four years of housing experience you know housing um uh you know guarantee so 92% of the students live on campus you know uh, as i said earlier that typically you know first year or the freshman year students require to stay on uh, the campus yeah so uh, we have around 20 different residential halls varying from um uh, you know uh, twin sharing accommodations to around eight you know people sharing the same accommodations and we have the state of the art facilities for housing uh, like um, you know the laundry facility the kitchen aid the wifi the air conditioning the heating um you know the closets the writing table the wifi is everything right uh 80% of uh, the recent classes um sorry yeah so 80% of the recent classes have had one or more internship so another strong point of juniata is that juniata gives um, a very strong internship opportunities to the students so we have had students who have had multiple internship opportunities in one given year so juniata believes that you know for you know the student to have a real time working experience in the global scenario juniata should empower every student with internship opportunities and that is what juniata is doing uh 96% of the students graduate in four or fewer years um so again um uh, this is one particular statistics which juniata is very proud of that 96% of the students you know graduate beforehand and uh, that is something which is very great at juniata uh juniata also is very strong in research opportunities so lot of juniatins before even completing the first year they have got the opportunity to present themselves or to present their research papers on various platforms lot of um, you know juniatins get the opportunity to even assist the professors while they are studying so this is something which you know which is very great in giving the student the real life exposure to the you know the professional world around um there are a lot of recognitions that juniata have had and is continue having continue to have and uh, that is one of the honorable mention is that we are listed as one of the 44 colleges which are nationally profiled in the colleges that change life so um you know the the ex editor of new york times is has written has authored one book which is colleges that change lives 40 colleges that change lives mm -hmm. so we are one amongst the colleges that actually change lives of the school uh we have also been mentioned as top 50 one of the top 50 colleges that you know value that gives maximum value or the returns on investments us news have ranked us 82nd uh, as the best liberal arts college in the us um so this this particular rank has been increasing so last year we was 87 this year we are 82nd um 
so yeah so lot of honorable mentions for juniata college in this particular area one last thing that i would want to share is um uh the kind of internship opportunities that you know juniata shares uh, on this slide on this particular slide you can see um, you know the kind of organizations that uh, juniatans have work so juniatans have had the work experience at google walt disney uh, mayo clinic nasa and um, you know juniata is um, you know more than happy to give platforms to you know the students ahead Yeah. Great. So that's it. Uh, you know, this is the kind of information that I would, you know, uh, want to share it with you all guys as of now. But yes, I am open for any other information or any other question that you know you want to ask. So thank you so much, Mithul, for sharing the information about Juniata College and for taking us through the college supplement section and to helping us uh, fill the college supplement portion uh, on you. Common App. uh once again thank you everyone for joining us on the call today and uh, for staying with us it's really late now here in india it's uh, 9:20 pm so thank you appreciate your time here on the call uh once again thank you so much mithul for your time and uh, we are looking forward to seeing all of you again tomorrow when we discuss about the next topics like how to write the college supplement essay how to invite your recommenders and uh, how to submit your common app so uh again thank you so much for joining in today take care good day good night